In this video, we will look at drug testing for cannabis. Cannabis is usually consumed by smoking hashish or marijuana. In order to detect cannabis use, it is important to choose the appropriate specimen type for testing. Only small amounts of cannabis are incorporated into hair, and the detection times in blood and oral fluid are short. Therefore, drug testing for cannabis is usually performed in urine. In order to detect cannabis in a urine sample, the cannabis concentration must be above a certain threshold. The concentration depends not only on the amount of cannabis in the urine, but also on the urine volume. If a person drinks a lot of fluid, the drug will be diluted in a larger volume and the cannabis concentration decreases. This may result in negative test results, despite actual cannabis use. Fluid consumption prior to testing should therefore be limited, and samples should preferably be collected in the morning. In order to quantify the extent of fluid intake, creatinine concentrations are often measured in urine samples. Creatinine is a natural waste product in the body and is always present in urine. If a person tries to reduce the drug concentrations in urine by drinking fluids, the creatinine levels in urine will also decrease. Abnormally low urine creatinine levels may thus suggest manipulation. Creatinine levels are also used in the interpretation of test results. Both cannabis and creatinine levels in urine fluctuate depending on fluid intake. The ratio between the levels, often referred to as creatinine-adjusted concentrations, aids the evaluation of cannabis levels in urine, adjusted to the amount of fluid intake. This ratio makes it easier to compare cannabis concentrations over time and to distinguish residual excretion from new drug use. The time frame of detection for cannabis depends primarily on the amount consumed and the duration of use. Following a single exposure, cannabis is rapidly eliminated from the body. First, it is distributed to highly vascularized organs, such as the brain, heart, and liver, and then it is excreted in urine and feces. With repeated use, however, cannabis will accumulate in the body, primarily in fat tissue. Following cessation, accumulated cannabis will gradually leak out from the fat storage and into the urine. The detection times for cannabis in urine vary from a few days following single use up to three months following heavy chronic use. It is, however, important to distinguish between the periods of drug intoxication and drug detectability. Cannabis may be detected in urine for a long period after the drug effects have waned. 